Global food security is a real challenge that we're all facing at the moment. Since the dawn of agriculture, wheat has been one of the most important crops. And with an increasing population, we need to produce more wheat for the future. There is a disease affecting wheat across the world, devastating up to 80% of yields and destroying fragile communities and regions. Meet yellow rust, the serial killer. Yellow rust is one of the most important diseases of wheat worldwide and can significantly reduce yields. You can tell it by its name because it gives the plant bright yellow pustules on the leaf surface. We need to understand more about how the environment affects resistance because this is a really poorly understood area. We know that climate change is likely to cause an increase in temperature, um, but it will also uh, cause more fluctuation in temperature. So I saw that there was some evidence that resistance is also affected by the environment. So this is where I wanted to investigate. My study quickly showed that actually high temperature wasn't important at all and it was more the transition from high temperatures to lower temperatures. And therefore we established that fluctuations in temperature were important in resistance. We now have sophisticated controlled environment facilities that can mimic actual climatic conditions in real time. This will give us a much better understanding of how the environment will affect disease resistance. So this kind of variability is actually typical of what we're expecting in the future. And so, you know, farming is, is uh, needing to be more resilient, more agile and planning for the unexpected. All of us as individuals have a, an interest and a fascination with the weather. We're always talking about it. But in this case, there's a real critical application of how the weather is influential in affecting the threat of disease in a crop that we all depend on so much for everyday items like the loaf of bread.